I'm so embarrassed. Oh my gosh, I don't even want to show you guys this. Darling, you It's Natalie. Welcome to my channel if it's the first time you've ever been here or if you have been here before Thank you so much for stopping by again and watching another video It means so much to me and today's video is the wrap-up to my motherhood May series I am making one of my favorite videos to make one of your guys's favorite videos here on this channel And it's a cleaning and organizing video and today I am tackling my kids closet. This is a really big job because it has been way too long since I've done a major overhaul. Life has changed a lot. The boys are really independent in their bedrooms. They're four and a half now. They get themselves up. They get themselves dressed. They get their own toys out and they're really the ones who are the mess makers in this bedroom and so it's gotten a little out of hand for me. I'm not passing the buck. I am definitely to blame the fact that it has gotten this bad and it's taken me this long to get into. So that's what I'm tackling today. Day. I'm gonna roll up my sleeves take you along the process and hopefully you guys get some inspiration and you enjoy seeing the before and after because it's gonna be good. If you do enjoy seeing cleaning and organizing videos here on this channel, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so that I know to make more videos like this. And if you're not subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button, turn on your bell notifications so you don't miss when I post a new video. I am wrapping up my Motherhood May series, but I will continue to post once a week on Mondays, my motherhood and lifestyle videos for you guys. And I have some bonus videos planned. So if your bell button's turned on, you won't miss when I post them. And and also I should mention if there's anything in this video that you're curious about furniture pieces organizational pieces I will be sure to link as many of the things that I can think of in the description box But if I've missed something, let me know and I will send you the link if I can find it. Okay, let's get started I'm overwhelmed already. Ugh. Let's see what is in this closet. I'm so embarrassed. Oh my gosh I don't even want to show you guys this Okay, so this is the current state of affairs in the boys' closet. This is the left side, pretty stinking bad. We have a bunch of stuff piled up in here. And then this is like the toy area that just piles up over here. And it really needs some serious overhaul, help, purging. Oh my goodness. Do you guys wanna help me? Mm -hmm. Okay. So what we're gonna do is put all of the clothing on Judah's bed and all of the toys on the next bed. It's really super simple. I'm going to help you pick the toys. how much stuff will fit into a closet. Granted, it's a small closet and there's two kids in this bedroom, but still, it's just too much stuff that needs to be sorted through, gotten rid of. I'm kind of at the point in this process where there's like no turning back. It's a little overwhelming, but I've got my helpers with me. Hi guys. Hi. Are you helping mommy? What are you doing? Making the lookout fly. You're making the lookout fly. So we have toys on Liam's bed and clothing from the closet on Judah's bed. So right now what I'm going to do is go through this pile of stuff that was hanging in their closet and I'm going to put it in the spots that it belongs. One of those is a donation pile, a pile of stuff for Haley to grow into, like snow pants and stuff that are perfectly fine for a little girl. I have a bin of hats, scarves, and gloves that I'm going to put up for next winter season and then there are a few pieces here that we got from friends that I just threw in their closet that are definitely too big for them that are going to go into their grow into <laughs> So mission accomplished. I was able to purge out the stuff that is hanging up in the boys closet as far as clothing goes. I kept their snow suits and big like parka jackets along with my snow bib which doesn't really fit into my closet 
that's all in the like deep corner. I am going to be adding to what's hanging up in this closet when I go through their main collection of clothing, which is in that cube unit behind me. But before I do that, I want to get the toys under control because if I have to stop at any point, I want my kids to be able to get back into their beds. I'll just quickly give you a rundown of our philosophy toward toys. It seems like a lot of plastic toys, but that's just because it's kind of just piled up there. The majority of the kids' toys are just out in the cube units in our living room. We have one drawer for wooden toys, one drawer for plastic toys, one drawer for like play pretend food, and then another drawer for books and puzzles. We do try to keep the collection really minimal. That way our kids don't get overwhelmed. More toys equals more opportunity for messes and frustration. My kids get frustrated when things are in disarray and so the main collection of toys out there is working for us. This, however, is not working for me. Honestly, I don't think it's because there's too much. I think it's because it's just disorganized. There's not really a place for everything. Now, a few of these stuffed animals definitely are gonna go, but as far as the plastic toys go, my boys love playing with them, and I'm just gonna arrange them a little bit more neat and tidy, and then also help the boys along with their tidying up and their upkeep of the toys that they have in their bedroom. Okay, we are in a really good place here, making lots and lots of progress. So, I had the idea to hang their uh, backpacks. We were just throwing them in here before. I don't know why I never thought of this before. I also kind of hacked a shelf extender that I got secondhand years ago, and I have it zip tied to here. It's really solid up here, and this is the number of stuffed animals that we are keeping, other than their Paw Patrol ones that they just keep on their bed every night. I have a bin of Paw Patrol toys, a bin of Home Depot like outdoor play toys, and then a bin of dress up clothing. And actually this toy chest in here, it's beautiful, but it pinches fingers and my kids are prone to injury. So we're not using the toy chest for toys right now. It's holding extra blankets and sheets and stuff like that. This is actually my toy chest from when I was a little girl. It's very sentimental. And I actually think that at some point it's going to move into Haley's room. We'll see. But for now, this is what it's looking like in the toy side of the closet. This is the clothing side of the closet. As you guys have seen, we're completely blank over here. I don't know how I'm gonna arrange this or if I'm gonna change it up as we go. But so far I have a pile of garbage and donation, a couple of odds and ends just scattered about, but I'm going to sort of tidy up the room as much as I can and then move on to purging what's in the uh, main part that holds their clothing. Darling. Alrighty, well, I am done with the project and it looks so much better. I am so happy with the result. So I'm gonna give you a little tour of what the closet looks like with the toys in there, the clothing in there, how the clothing is arranged here and everything that I changed up. I'm so happy about this. So this is how the closet is arranged now and I whipped my label maker out and it really came in handy. I think it makes it look so much more neat and tidy to have labels on everything. I think it's important to start over here so you see how the main part of their uh, clothing is organized. And we use a no-fold system in case you guys didn't know that already. Folding children's clothes up small, if you do the KonMari method or just traditional folding, they all come out of the drawers wrinkly anyway. So what's the point in wasting all that time folding something? I just throw it in the bin. 
in the bottom of this bin are like three or four long sleeve shirts in case they want to wear those during the summer because sometimes it gets a little chilly or we have a rainy day and the rest on top is all of their short sleeve shirts. I'm going to get some really strong clear like packing tape to go over these labels to keep them on this canvas. Next I have their pajama drawer which is going to be so nice to have it all in there and not crammed in one of the short drawers. Haley, come on. They just have bigger bodies now, so their clothing takes up more space, and there's two of them. So all of their jammies are in there. Next, I have soft pants in here. These are like jersey material knit pants, um, some like little sweatpants or leggings. I have long pants as well as short pants in here because they wear both during the summer. And then in this drawer, I have pants and jeans, and this includes shorts as well. So anything canvas or denim, corduroy, there's some stuff in there like that. The boys actually call these hard pants and these soft pants, but I wasn't gonna put hard pants on a label. And then up here I have socks, which we have to do laundry. So I have a few more that are gonna go in there as well as some more underwear. I've had these bins since before the boys were born. I actually bought these as one of the very first things I wanted to put into their nursery and we're still using them to this day. It just goes to show that you don't always need brand new things to organize or to tidy up a space. But I did buy a couple of things that I wanna show you because these were necessary. Well, up here, I have these bins that I picked up at Target today. Um, these were a two pack for $4.99. And you can see I snagged one of Haley's two pack because I found out that I needed another one. So I have the keepsake box, like I showed you. I have a box for hats and gloves, but the back side has a label that's for swimwear because in the winter time, we'll take the hats and gloves out of there, pop them in this bin, and then we'll turn this bin around and it will say hats and gloves and the swimwear will go back up there and we'll turn that around and it will say swimwear. I hope that makes sense. Same thing for these long sleeve shirts up here. This is just the bulk of the shirts that the boys own as long as they're not gonna outgrow them by the time we're back into long sleeve shirts regularly. We also have more things in that grow into bin in case we need a bigger size for them. But these are the long sleeve shirts for now. The back side of that bin says short sleeve shirts for when we take the bulk of their short sleeve shirts and throw them up there. I have this bin right here which has one lonely little Seahawk hat in it. I have more like baseball hats for the boys in the hall closet which are going to end up here. The hall closet is another project for another time. But for now, this is gonna be like where their caps and hats go. And then down here, this is something we desperately needed. This is just a sweatshirt bin. So zip ups, hoodies, pullovers, anything that kind of fits into that sweatshirt sort of category so they can just grab it really quick if they're out the door. And then we have their dress up clothing. Earlier I showed you that I had it in, oh, I already took it out. I had it in a clear plastic bin on the toy side of their closet. And then I realized I just had some extra room here. And rather than stack a bin underneath another bin of toys, I would give them really good access to their dress up clothing, which they get into almost every day. So they'll be excited about this. Now this cube unit furniture piece has actually been broken. It looks a little strange, but I actually think it's gonna work out really good, like to our advantage, because the boys will be able to just grab quickly out of what they need from the top rather than having to pull the drawer out. Same thing for these bottom bins. So as I showed you before, we have everything hanging up. I just have a couple of added sweaters that I found in the boys shirt drawer. And then last but not least, I have this shoe organizer, which I also bought a couple of weeks ago. It was on the clearance rack. I think I got it for like $2.50. It's normally like 12 or $15 and I am storing their extra pairs of shoes in here. In the hall closet, we keep their Adidas sneakers as well as their sandals, but they don't need anything more than that on a daily basis. These are just the extra shoes that they have in their collection. These are some outdoor sneakers, an alternate pair of like school shoes, and then a couple of canvas slip-ons. They don't really like these shoes, but I'm holding out that they'll start wearing them. 
some point before they're outgrown. So I stack the shoes a little bit lower and then I stack some things higher here. This is still within their reach. They're actually taller than I think most days. And we have their leap pads, which they play during quiet time. And then the leap pad holders for if we take them out of the house. I have some nighttime um, stuff that we use for them as well as some baby wipes. I had three packages of baby wipes, so I just threw one on top of there. We'll make it through it soon enough. And then I have our extra hangers, which some of these are gonna go in Haley's room when I organize her closet on another day. And oh, this little corner down here, I ended up moving the cube unit over a little bit, which made perfect space, like literally perfect for this shoe organizer, which made the space back here a little bit smaller. And it actually fits extra pillows. I have the lids to some of the little bins and then an extra bin here. It's kind of a little awkward corner, but now it has a purpose. I am very happy with the results of this project and I hope it was inspirational for you guys and motivational. I love this sort of video on YouTube. I actually watched a ton of these videos before I started this project. So shout out to my friend Brianna K and do it on a dime. Who else did I watch? Oh, of course, Micah Stoffer and my friend April Athena7. You guys are awesome. Thank you for the motivation. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Up. I'm actually gonna be heading into Haley's room in the next week or two and trying to do the same sort of project over there. Not to this extent, but it definitely needs some help. So if you want to see the before and after for that, go over to my Instagram. I will be sharing it on my Instagram stories for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you're at and I'll catch you later. Cool! Whoa! That's so cool! <laughs> Is that so cool? <laughs> when I wake up, I can open my closet and get my knee pads. Yes, you can. And I here are my... your shoes, your extra shoes. Do you know what this drawer is? Mm -hmm. What do you think? My, my, where they? Swim! And then this is where you keep your baseball hats. This is where your sweatshirts are. Nice. And if you need a coat. Why would you put my yes. shirt for here? Uh, this is, this says the name of what's in the drawer. And then what do you think this bin is? In a costume. Costumes, you're right. Well, That's actually I what I could have labeled it. I said dress up clothing. Costumes. Why didn't I think of that?